Pi. You may know it as the ratio of a circle's diameter to its circumference, but there is so much more to this amazing number. To begin with, it has some quite interesting properties. It is an irrational number, which means that it cannot be represented by a fraction and goes on and on forever. But, more than that, it is a transcendental number, which means that it cannot be found through any combination of the five algebraic operations we know and love. This means that we do not and will not ever know the true value of pi, as every value we calculate for it is only an approximation. Speaking of which, finding new ways to get more and more digits of pi is what fills the history of this unique number. In fact, the first calculations done to find pi weren't about the relationship between the diameter and the circumference of a circle, but in an attempt to square the circle. These measurements were done by Egyptians around 2000 BC, and gave a value accurate to two digits. The first major breakthrough in calculating pi came when Archimedes found a set of bounds between which pi is located, by inscribing and circumscribing various polygons in and around circles. After geometric methods like Archimedes, algebraic methods such as continued fractions and infinite series came into play, and greatly increased the number of digits that could be calculated. With the advent of the computer, thousands upon thousands of digits could be calculated within a very small amount of time. Currently, the record for the most calculated digits of pi belongs to Shigeru Kondo and Alexander Yi, who found an outstanding 12.1 trillion digits of pi in December 2013 on a homemade computer which they ran continuously for 94 days. Of course, there is no real application for 12 trillion digits of the number. Rather, calculating pi is an exercise in optimization. Even when dealing with equations involving the entire visible universe, 40 digits is more than enough. And the applications of pi are numerous, from finding the area of circles and volumes and spheres, to finding out how to divide that pizza you ordered into perfect thirds. And all of that is just a slice of what this pi has to offer.